Hello, I'm Kyle Jorgensen. Today I'm going to go over this uh, Dellum CNC press brake control that we use on our press brakes. This particular control is a DA58T. Now the T stands for touch. Um, we've used uh, Dellum controls on our press brakes exclusively for many years, and we've had really good luck with these controls. Um, the support with, uh, with Dellum and I mean, everything with them, we've, we really enjoy these uh, press brake controls, and we have a lot of installs. But anyway, manual screen. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to get them in manual screen. What you're going to do is you're going to walk up the machine and you're going to put in a material thickness. And it's going to ask you uh, which material are you bending. Now we can develop or build a whole library of material in here. Granted, this is you know a machine, new machine. We haven't uh, added a bunch of material to it yet, but it's very easy to do. Now, why does it want to know the material? Well, for uh, tonnage calculations, you know, different materials require uh, different tonnages. They require different uh, penetration depth into our tooling due to spring back and the characteristics of the material. Now, we've got a, a tooling library. Now, this machine's only got one punch program. Well, we could have uh, you know, a large library of punches. We've got uh, four dies programmed here. You can see the V-Day. V-die opening, a lot of characteristics of the bottom die. Also, I mean, you can give it a name, however you guys keep track, however you would like to keep track of them, so it's easy for the operator to pull the tooling up. X-axis, this would be, you know, from the center of my radius on my punch tip to the front of the finger, because again, I'm on the manual screen. Um, a retract point, if I program a retract, this would be a pinch point where, you know, I come down touch my material, back gauge is going to get out of the way, however far I program this. Speed is programmable on the, the, the R-axis and the X-axis here. Uh, deflect to be my crowning. This particular machine has CNC crowning, which this control will control. Now it's going to automatically calculate the, what the crowning needs to be set at. Um, we've engineered it, you know, to the frame and the stiffness and uh, what tonnage and what by this V-die openings of the material where to set this. Again, we can adjust it if we need to. Properties. Now, I've got uh, air bending, you know, typically with tooling today, that's typically what it is. Bending length would be in the Z direction, or, you know, across the width of the machine, so to speak. So say 25, I can change that. Um, angle, these machines work from you know, the Dellum controls work from 180, so 180 is flat, and we subtract, subtract angle. So, you know, uh, 135 is a 45, so to speak, but it's, you know, we've subtracted angle from 180. Again, I'm on manual screen. I've got corrections here, so if I, if I you know, I, I bend this material, these V dies, and I come in and I'm one degree open, you know, say I'm on 136, so I would, I would put a negative one right here and it's automatically going to correct my penetration depth to correct for the inconsistency. Do, I mean, machine will repeat, the control knows, but you, you get different grain directions, you get uh, you know, maybe the material thickness isn't exactly what we put in there. The yield's a little different than we have in our library, that kind of thing. But again, we can correct for it very quickly. Y-axis. Mute point, I can program it. But mute um, calculated, it's going to be, you know, what we've set off our bottom die to mute our laser. It's got a safety laser on it, um, and it's it's you know you got a rapid an approach speed, and then you go into bending where it shifts. That's where your mute is, and it'll, again, if, if the machine is equipped with a safety laser, which we prefer, it'll mute the laser at this point penetration. Now parallelism, this is the difference between Y1, Y2. We can program that. We can also toggle that off in another screen in settings if, if we don't want our operator to be able to do that. Opening is above our pinch point. So we've got one inch above uh, material or pinch point. So when, it re re you know, when a machine repeats or returns, it's going to come to one inch open. I can program it right there. 
force, 11 tons. See it calculated automatically for this material. Now we've got 11 tons. Let's say I change this to 0.2. See it automatically calculate our, or up our tonnage. So I've got it set on automatic calculation here. Dwell time at the bottom of the bend. If I want, you know, I've got some, you know, for some reason I need, you know, I need a dwell at the bottom. I can program it here. Decompression is the reverse of bend. So, you know, I kind of, uh, my analogy with decompression is sometimes you don't want to let a pair of vice grips go. So you want to program a, you know, a, a distance of decompression, the reverse of bend, instead of, you know, just instantly letting the pressure off and letting the ram return. Program that softly, let it off. Uh, it's just, you know, sometimes it's, it's much safer to do that. Also, maybe you're trying to catch a crane or you got a big part, you know, you can program a decompression here and you can also uh, this is distance and this would be speed it's like you got bending speed you got decompression speed they're just the reverse of each other and wait for retract here I've got yes so what that would be if I program to retract in here the, ma the machine would wait at pinch point until the retract re reached its position but it might be more fluid to turn that off to where as soon as uh, it reaches pinch, pinch position the retract triggers the machine starts to, or the back gate starts to move, but I'm still bending. You know, it just, just, you know, a lot of, a lot of ways to control this, and that's the idea that you, be able to do, the operator is able to do what he needs to do safely. Manual position. You know, you can control axis. Like, say, if I was here, I can slowly jog stuff in if I'm setting up or fixturing. Just a lot of ways to look at stuff. You got a correction table too. On that, uh, if you pull this in material and say, you know, you keep getting one degree correction on that material and you always bend it on a manual screen, it'll bring it in. Again, this is manual screen. If, you know, we, we install and train on the machine, we get, you know, operator, if we can understand this screen, we can understand the control. That's it. I mean, if you can do this, can the manual screen, the other, uh, there's a couple different ways to program this to get more elaborate parts and stuff, but if you understand what's going on here, everything else makes sense. So I'm going to go, um, you guys see, I've got, see, I've got a record function here too, that we're able to log the machine, you know, and see what's going on. We can also analyze the RAM travel. A lot of, a lot of nice features of these Dellums controls make it very easy on us as maintenance, you know, or, you know, owners or, you know, Installing machines and uh, I mean, it just downloads very good to us. But uh, products, I'm going to go in here. There's two ways to program here. Now, this would be in a multi, multiple step program typically. And um, like if I go in, new product would be graphical, new program would be NC. I'm going to go into new product um, real quick. Now I can give it a Know any way I want to be able to recall this or save it. Again, just like on manual screen, I'm putting in the thickness. It's asking me for material. It's asking me for width. Outer dimensions. Now, outer or inner dimensions depends on the part characteristics of what I care about. Um, now, that calculated would be Dellum's formula. Um, also, you could pull in a table. You know, we've had customers that uh, maybe for years and years they've run this part and they've calculated this and calculated that. They can pull in a table for their stretch out and for their preferred radius. Now, it's very simple to, you know, program parts with this control. Pull, whatever. See, not, you know, you're uh, you're gonna ask me for another line. But let's say that was our part in the material thickness that I just told it. So the next setup, I'm gonna pick what tools I'm gonna use. It's by default, it's gonna pull the tools that I used the last time I did this. Um, again, I can I can select a new die. I can select a new punch. Turn a punch. Depending on what I'm doing. 
say if I'm okay with that tooling. Go to uh, bin sequence. Now the control is going to automatically um, give me a bin sequence. I can edit this, let's say, you know, the, if I want to change that and I want to swap it or change it. See the front extend ratio, but anything in that bin sequence I don't like, swap, turn, I can do. It's very easy to do. See? Just move them, shift them. If I don't like what the machine gave me. I'll shift gauge. See, lay on finger. This machine has a CNC R axis, so we're able to, you know, CNC move our finger down to capture that part. It's much easier for the operator to gauge that. Let's see if I accept. Okay, our change. And the machine knows the offset distance automatically. We actually can program other other stops and settings very easily too. But there's our program. Once it uh, compute. With that material thickness, those bends, this V die, um, it's our uh, blank length is 21.6. I mean, that's, that takes a lot of a lot of work out of the equation. And a lot of, a lot of the, the Mendelum and their formulas and stuff are really good. And it's a lot to do with you know what radius you're going to get with the particular V die that you've got in there. Really, I mean, I mean I'm preaching the choir to most people probably, but that really affects your stretch out. So I got my bin sequence, I've computed it, I know my blank length. I go into program. I don't necessarily need to, but if I want to look at it so I can see all bins, here's all the criteria. The program I just made, it's got three bins. I can see that I have to, I'm in, in, rotate, and flip the part. I have little arrows at the top. The angle that I'm, that I'm bending each part, and I, I can edit these right here. I can also, you know, the force that it's taken, the method. Any length. I can adjust anything right here if I if I want to. I'll change speeds, change tooling. So I'm in program soon. It's very logical how this how they've laid this out. And they spent a lot. They spent a lot of time and energy on this. I've done a nice job. Again, program. Now if I go to auto, I made some changes in there, but. Um, once I'm in auto, I'm ready to run this, the program I just made. If you notice, it's the same program, test and uh, 555. So I'm able to run it. I'm able to, you know, there's a couple of ways I can graphically see this. Just different functions. Visualize the bend, visualize the flat. Make sure I don't have any collision. I mean, the operator, maybe he pulls this product up and he hasn't been it and uh, or ran it for five or six months and he doesn't remember the sequence. So you can pull it up and visualize it. It's just a lot of nice features. Also here, like in the manual screen, like there's three three bends here. Let's say I bend and I check my angle on the first hit and I'm one degree open. So I would go and do a global angle correction right here. It'll correct all three bends. Or I can go and do a correction on each individual bend. Depending on the criteria, what I'm Long story short, I mean, you're just you're con in control of what quickly you're very quickly able to bend and produce the part that you need to. I mean, it gives you everything you need very quickly, and uh, I mean, just simple. So auto again, graphical. That's how you make a part. Now, if you go back to our products. See, I could have all kinds. You know, you can have directories, batches, you know, anything saved in here. There's a lot of memory on these controls. Also, I want to bring up something here. If you go right here, I've got the whole manual loaded on this control, which is very nice. So wherever, you know, it, it goes or kind of where you're at in the manual and, you, and relates to what you're looking at. Okay, I'm going to, we just got finished uh, looking at new product with the graphical. I'm going to go into a new program. Now, to me, this is NC mode is the difference here and I'll just quickly go through this. I mean I mean obviously you got product ID and product selection however you know you want to um, your 
procedure for keeping track of stuff and be able to um, retrieve it in the future. But absolute or angle, absolute would be I want my RAM to penetrate to 7.62. I've discovered that maybe in manual or something, you know, I may have got some special tooling I made. Would be absolute. Now angle, you know, I'm going to tell it I want 90 degrees. Um, so that makes sense. Again, I'm going to tell it material selection or material thickness. I'm going to pick my type of material, just, you know, it's just like we've been doing. Accept that. Now, this is the tooling I want. So now I got tooling set up. So select die. Select punch. You know, same kind of thing you've got uh, in there. Now, if you notice here, I've only got one bend. I could have added more or appended it, but to me, it's just simply just go to all bends, and right here I can say, okay, and uh, add bends. So I can go, so now I've got uh, four bends, let's say. I'm like, okay, that's nice, but they're all the same. But uh, let's say I go in here and say, no, I need 12 tons. I go back, see, I can copy column. I just changed all that. So I got four bends, 12 ton. My open's here, but let's say on that second bend, I need two open. And I don't want a 180, I want 90. And I want 90 here. This I want 130. 135. Let's say here I want uh, I don't know, 120. Enter. So I've got four bends. You know, my force, I can change everything on them and quickly make a program. I can die, I've got spending speed, I've got back gauge. I mean, everything about that I could possibly control and need to control, I can do quickly. But, I mean, I've just made a four-bend program. In the tooling program, I go into auto. There's my program. Now, notice I don't have numbers up here because this machine's not calibrated right now, but see, so there's all bends. I could run it. Step one, step two, step three, step four, and run the program. And all the criteria, you know, again, I might have a cor small correction on bend one. I might do a global correction. It's all right here. Stock counts up and down. Again, I can visualize all the events here, but if I need to edit it, I do go back to program. I'm able to program if I'm unlocked. You know, the supervisor codes here. He's able to edit it depending on what code he's in. But again, very easy, um, intuitive control that uh, we really like. And, uh, again, we, we can. Uh, We'd like to put one in your shop, and uh, we can definitely help you with it. But uh, I appreciate your time, and uh, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to call us or email us at any time. We um, enjoy what we do, and we're very good at it. Thank you.